Morning, Angel. Morning, boss. You're full of beans today. Yeah, well, I had a very pleasant evening with my family last night. What are you up to? Just doing some uh, stuff here. No, you're on your way to New York? No way, not for a couple of days. Oh, are you going upstairs to the office? Yep, send me up some coffee, will you? Okay, you got it. Thank you. All right. Duke's Club, Angel speaking. Hello, I need to speak with Duke, please. Yeah, uh, just hang on a second. Boss, this is for you. I'll take it upstairs. It's long distance. Take it here. Livery. Duke, it's Olivia. There's trouble. What kind of trouble? Rumblings in the family. Word spreading about that we're going legitimate. We're facing a revolt. I see. We have to make some fast moves. We have to talk. Well, I won't be there for a few days. I'm sorry. Well, then I'll come there. No. Duke, it has to be one way or the other. Choose. Okay, why don't you get on the next shuttle flight here? But don't make plans to spend the night, okay? Problems? Not if I can help it. No. But how about the meat and the cold cuts? Uh, 11 o'clock. Great. And the liquor? Uh, we won't have to reorder till next week, boss. Good. How's the receipt slip? Profits are inching up. So everything's going well? Very good. You really are doing a good job, you know, Angel. Thanks, boss. I'll be in the office if you need me. Okay. I, uh, I thought you went up. Did I scare you? Well, uh, uh, just a little bit. I'm sorry. There's something I want to talk to you about. Sure, sure. What? It's about Olivia St. John. Oh, you're, you're uh, the interior decorator in New York? Mm -hmm. Her name isn't St. John. Her real name is Jerome. is that Olivia St. John or Olivia Jerome isn't really a, an interior decorator, right? Wrong. I thought, wait a minute, boss, wait a minute. If she's she a Jerome, is an interior she's decorator, a... she also owns an art gallery, but it just so happens she's Victor Jerome's daughter. Okay, so when I see her, I have to call her Miss St. John, right? Right. Boss, how the hell did you get mixed up with her? Do you remember when Julian died? Of course. Well, he made a last request that I carry on his work to turn the family legitimate. I promised that I would. Go on. I met Olivia at the memorial service. I realized how close they'd been. They'd been working together secretly to turn the family legitimate. Of course, Julian was her brother. He was the son. He had to take the lead. Well, they don't like women mixing in, boss. No, that's true. Julian intended for Olivia and I to work together as partners to complete his work. And? Well, Victor didn't take it very well. Of course, initially... He was dead against his daughter becoming involved with the mob. What made him change his mind? Olivia and I, we both worked on him, but you have to remember, he lost both his sons. He lost both his sons to the family. He didn't want his only daughter to go the same way. I don't blame him for not wanting her to get involved. Well, I don't either. But she finally convinced me that it was the right way. I mean, otherwise, I'd spend most of my life in New York City. Well, I understand that, boss. So she and I were now working together. She's in New York, and I'm here in Port Charles. We do most of our business by the telephone, but some of it we can't. Oh, boss, I don't like this. It's the best way. However, Victor is holding me responsible for her. Boss, how the hell can you watch out for her when she's there and you're here? It won't be very easy. I just have to make sure that she doesn't get involved in anything that's dangerous. And how are you going to be able to work that all the time? As long as necessary until I can get out. I hope to do that as soon as possible. Boss, Anna's going to get suspicious. Oh, she won't get suspicious as far as she's concerned. Olivia's an art dealer and a, a gallery owner, nothing more. Boss, please, I don't like the idea of her coming here. Well, it's too late. She's on her way. Now, listen. Don't you worry about it, okay? I'll go upstairs to the office. When she arrives, send her straight up. Okay. Hi, Angel. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 
Yeah. Not, not with you. Right. I just have to I don't believe this. And the other one's on her way. Robin's really pleased you're going to be spending more time at home. I'm very happy about it, too. Me, too. So what brings you around here so early in the morning? I've been thinking. About what? Well, you said you, you wanted to get the club in New York into profit pretty early so that you could sell it. Yeah, that's exactly what I intend to do. Well, that isn't going to happen overnight. No, I know that. I mean, I'm going to work very, very hard and try to do it as soon as I possibly can. Meanwhile, you're going to have to commute between the two places, right? I'm afraid so, yeah. I wonder. Maybe I should set up an office in the back of your club. In New York? Yes. I mean, things get rather dull around here sometimes, and uh, New York's always very exciting. And uh, I'd be a PI then in, in both places. I haven't discussed this yet with Sean, but what do you think? There you are. It's Angel, isn't it? That's right, Miss Angel. Good. Well, uh, I'm here to see Duke. Where is he? You know, the boss said you were coming. How did you get here so fast? <laughs> Not by taking the shuttle. Huh? A friend of mine has a private jet. Oh. So, where's Duke? Listen, how about a cup of coffee? Hmm? Where is he? Just a second. Have a cup of coffee. How about Angel? some cream and sugar? Would Angel. you like some cream and sugar? Angel, where is he? He's, um, he's busy. For how much longer? Oh, not much, not much. Look, relax. Have a cup of coffee. Look, don't we have a nice place here? Ah, oh, but you know that. You're an interior decorator. You did this place in New York, right? Uh, yes, yes. Come on. I wish he'd turn me loose in here. Well, you ought to see what I did for him in New York. I'd like that. Yeah. Come on, sit down, relax, yeah. have a cup of coffee. Angel, You'll look, be right down. I got here very fast. Uh huh. I don't intend to waste time waiting. Well, what do you think of my idea? Well, we certainly would see a lot more of each other. Yes. But, you know, I somehow don't think it would work. Why not? Well, Robin, I mean, it's. Hard enough on her with me being in New York all the time. I think if you were to be there, she'd be very unhappy. Yeah. Well, we've got her in, you know, but I, I know what you're saying. And I know how you feel about moving her there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Excuse me. Duke? Well, she's here. So soon? Yeah, she came by private plane. Yeah, well, that sounds fine. Why don't you just uh, show her around the place, you know, give it to her. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a good idea, boss. All right, take care of it. Okay, boss, I will. Listen, the boss said if you really want to redecorate this place, that uh, I should kind of show you around. Hmm. Oh, well, that's why I'm here. Okay. I'll give you a tour, okay? Uh -huh. I got a few things to clear up first. All right, you go ahead. I'll start looking around. You gonna be home early tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Great, because Robin's got this project she wants to show you. She's very proud of it. Oh, good. I look forward to that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'll be with you in a minute, Angel. I just want to get my purse. See you later. Okay. I won't be late. Bye. Bye.
it was close. <laughs> Maybe next time it'll be closer. <laughs> Wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> <laughs>